All right, welcome back to VO Booth. Uh, we are let's let's figure out what's up with Spade and Dale and their brotherly love and huh? their brothers. Yeah, they're brothers. It was it was mentioned. Oh, Spade and Dale. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you, for some reason that you meant Torque. No, no. <laughs> I I try to ignore Torque. Yeah. <laughs> oh. See, I have no idea what this line of dialogue is referring to. Like, eh. it, does it have something to do with when she was in the scarves and? I don't know. I. I don't know. It's just they just they were they talk about the scarf so vaguely that it's like I kind of want to know, but not and not. It, I don't know. Listen, guys, I'll go in alone while you help the. Oh, he has a. Does he have his own? Does he have his own level? No. Oh. Not yet. I, again, he's coming out later in a patch. It'll be easier this way. Oh, he gets a little too emotional here. Uh, and you don't like it. No, I don't like it when they get too emotional. I just uh, sometimes just don't think that it's directed well. That's what Brevin's expecting us to do. Then let me go instead. You're too important to the mission. Uh, I can't lose another crew. Jeez. Yeah, there we go. It's just it's one of those moments where it's like, I can't have it happen to another <laughs> team. <laughs> this can't happen again. There's a good moment like that in One Piece though, where it's it actually like works pretty well. Um yeah. You, you, I, you don't even know what moment I'm talking about. So no, no, I'm trying... I don't know why you agree. <laughs> I, I am more more agreeing that, like, sometimes it just works in anime because it's anime. Uh, that's I was going to make that point. Oh, okay. Um, just because you kind of expect, like, over-the-topness. Yeah. It's also because I'm referring... There's this one character called Moria who... And he kind of has a little breakdown about it. Like, and it's, like, years after he lost his crew, too. But he kind of has a breakdown about it because he just happened to, like, start thinking about it. Mm -hmm. And it works pretty damn well. He's kind of, like, warning some... He's, like, basically warning the main character. It's, like, you think you're hot shit or you're not shit. You know what? I, I went sailing, too. And you know what? My crew got fucked up. Why, and then he starts going, like, why did I have to lose my crew? And then he just goes insane and starts... Wow. Uh, so it appears... Wait, do we get robots? No, we did not get robots. So we got Aww. these little things to help shut down the core or something. I don't know. It's, we're basically... Just, How very Avengers. Yeah, we're basically sneaking in to shut down some uh, core or something. Or I should say Captain America. Yeah, same thing, right? Mm, I meant the movies, though. Oh, uh, well, same thing, right? Oh. <laughs> yes. Haha, ha, you just got a bubble shield. Hey, it's, it's a shield. It protects me from two hits. So final dreadnought. You'll notice it says round one, <laughs> uh, which means bit of a spoiler there. Yeah, there's more than one round of this uh, dreadnought business. I don't. Do you find a member of the Breakfast Club after round one? I, I, I you... doubt it. Breakfast Club members are hard to come by. You only have two left. Yeah. All we got is uh, <laughs> yeah, we just got the snake and uh, Brevin. And uh, I mean, this is kind of spoilers, but Dale doesn't come back. Are you serious? So it's never explained. He just. Dies? No, he doesn't die. He didn't die then. He just got... Uh, Spade just hit him with a card. Okay. Do you watch Hunter Hunter? I do not. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was about to compare uh, Spade's cards to his Hisoka's cards. Yeah. Which are much more deadly. <laughs> Usually because know. he aims for the throat. Right. <laughs> That's the only way you can kill someone with a, with a playing card, I would assume. Eh, actually, you know, he wants to kill some guy by doing it in the body, but they were multiple in the body. Yeah. So yeah, these little uh, warp panels are... That's kind of interesting. Yeah, kind of cool. I don't see how it's all that different from, like, just normal springs, but... Eh, uh, they tr make you go farther. Mm. Uh, I f okay, yeah, this is the worst. You're just, like... I feel like in a lot of these sections, you're just trying to make it to the other side. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, and, uh... Did you have to defeat him? No, I just gotta get out of here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just, like... That's the thing, like, the Dragon Boost just wasn't, like, charging fast enough. It was like, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Gotcha. I was curious. I hate these things. It's just so easy to get hit by them. Yeah. See, I like, I like all these little half-pipes thing, half-pipe things, though. Again, it's cool. She doesn't go through them really fast, as we discussed before, but... Right. I don't know, it's just nice. And the music in this level is pretty cool, too. Yeah. I mean, the music in all the levels. It sounds like a very, like, last level kind of music. Also, another cool thing he does in these levels, he kind of manipulates things, so he's opening, like, the airlocks. Um, there's another, like, cool section, too, where it's... Uh, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's... Yeah. And, I mean, it's not a huge deal, but it's just kind of like, oh, I'm gonna do this now and really screw you over. Yeah. And it's, it actually does screw you over quite a bit. That's not good. Yeah. Uh... 
<laughs> I like that little arc. That was so cool. Yeah. That's such a great attention to detail. <laughs> oh. Uh, I might die soon. You guys seem to have that problem. Yeah. Today I've been having that problem a lot. <laughs> I'm so surprised I didn't die to that laser. I run into those lasers all the time. Oh, no. Oh, yes, come on. Yeah, yeah, baby, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, I know who you fight after this, and uh, <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like that boss, this boss at all. <laughs> so, you remember when we fought the Robo Panther? Of course. And uh, I mentioned how I they should have had more levels where you find the boss just running. Right. And I was like, oh, the Robo Panther is the only one. Uh, it turns out that's not true. This boss that's coming up in this round is an all running boss. Hmm. And I do not like it. As a matter of fact, it's this oh, here we go. boss coming up right now. Yep. And I do not like this boss at all. Although I, I have gotten okay at this boss. Yeah. Like, bef it's just not a. It's a really hard boss. So, this is a, another kind of syntax thing. I'm just going to choose to believe that the other syntax is dead, though. No! I mean, I guess this is technically a member of the Breakfast Club. Technically, this disproves my theory that Syntax is all the robots with green eyes. Yeah, I guess. I'm just gonna assume. I, I just for completion's sake, though. Like, I do want to just say that eh. that. Uh, technically, Syntax is an AI, so he could download himself into any any body he wants to. Well, you know what? We're just gonna say that after this, this is the final, not the final Breakfast Club member, but this is another Breakfast Club. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And. uh... I'll try not to talk about the Breakfast Club too much, because I don't want to run this joke to the ground. <laughs> oh, I almost always get hit by that thing. Yes! I actually avoided it for, the like, the first time in ever. I'm doing really well on this boss. Well, now you just jinxed yourself. Yeah. You're about to get, like, major combo damage. No, I, I had to practice this, though. I practiced it, like, a few weeks ago, and I was like, okay, I can. I think I can consistently get this boss, okay. But no, I was playing, when I, when I was uh, trying to beat Carol's story, not even to practice, just to, like, play this game. Right. Oh, I... Yeah, this. I kind of remembered how uh, much of a difficulty spike uh, Final Dreadnought was. <laughs> That's a good thing, though. I mean, it's supposed to be kind of final level -y, right? Yeah. No, but a lot of people do complain about the uh, difficulty spike of Final. I got hit. I didn't get hit at all. No, you didn't. No. Yeah. Awesome. And you get shot. Uh, that's one of the bigger complaints people have about Final Dreadnought. They say, like, difficulty spike is way too much. Um, and at the end of the game, you actually do get a counter that says how many deaths you have. Hmm. And, uh, Final Dreadnought's actually... I did not expect that. Okay! <laughs> nice, dude! <laughs> that was a really good Dreadnought run. <laughs> um... Were you telling me there was a speedrun mode for this? There's not a speed... What do you mean speedrun? There's a time attack. That's speedrun, right? I guess. I meant, like, you know, like, they have, like, a version with, like, all, all, without the cutscenes and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it doesn't take into account cutscene time. Gotcha. Yeah when you're doing running these levels um what was i gonna say well i don't whatever. know, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah huh. well anyway um oh i was saying that when i was playing as carol though like oh right yeah there was just it was just relearning these levels all over again and just adjusting to how like she plays but yeah a lot of people have uh said that they think the difficulty spike for Final Dreadnought's too big and the reason is because um it counts your lives at the end of the game like mm. how many lives you've lost and the n number you lose in Final Dreadnought compared to all the other levels is, like, amazingly high. Like, this Final Dreadnought accounts for, like... Is it just because it's a longer level, though? Well, no, no, no. It, it, it counts it for each round. Oh, uh, okay. Separately. Um, but it's just, like, it's just way... The, even the creator was like, you know, this is kind of... This is not balanced at all. Like, it's a little uh. too much. Um, I'll just go through here. Sorry. Um... So, I think the patch versions make a lot of adjustments to Final Dreadnought. Gotcha. In order to... Like, I think one of the levels... I don't know exactly where it is. Um, I, w I would have researched it if I thought we were going to actually play this far in one uh, session. <laughs> but um, there is one level where he actually does, like, alter the level geometry. And, oh, like, wow. Yeah, because, like, nothing, there's no other... And I think I kind of... If it's a section I'm thinking it is, I kind of agree because it's really tedious. It's less difficult than it is tedious. Oh, I, I, this section I hate. Yeah. You have to go up. You gotta go up. Oh gosh, come on. Um, yeah, I, I hate this section because I die to it all the time as well. Um, it's just you have to. Uh, I'm trying to remember what you have to do. You have to deal with like a bunch of robots in uh, 
Oh, you know what? And the final, and not the final boss, but the boss of uh, round two is really hard. It's it's probably the. Oh my gosh. Damn it. Oh, you don't have to use those springs. Oh, okay. That was me being dumb. Also, those those flowers respawn, and it's just there's just some things about Final Dreadnought that are just a little bit too tedious. <laughs> like. Mm. Hey, it's Mila. Yeah. Everyone's favorite character. Ah, oh, Mila's the best. <laughs> Oh gosh, now I lost the shield, and it's going to be way harder to fight this next enemy without the shield. Yeah. Like, I'm, I am not happy that I lost that shield. Because <laughs> I have to fight... Oh, shoot. You'll be, you from the, you'll be fine. Oh, ouch. I, I'm just... Gosh, I don't want to do this again! Oh well, they respawn even if, like, you... Don't like, oh wow. I thought they would like maybe just respawn if you went on screen and came back. But no, they just respawned. Okay, good. I got the thing. Um, I should be okay now as long as I don't take any needless damage, but I'm so scared. Yeah. I was scared, just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, so now I just gotta go down. Oh gosh. And this is like, oh. God, this is so <laughs> tedious. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you have to go? Oh, do you have to go through there? I have to go down, yeah. Oh, and you have no life. Just grab that life over there. Ta-da! You're totally... There we go. Okay, okay. You're good. good. You're good. Oh, not this... No, not that guy! <laughs> that guy's harmless like 99% of the time. But I just was in a bad situation, <laughs> man. Bad place. Okay, I think this is a checkpoint here. Oh, this is where Brevin starts being just a dick. <laughs> I think this is where he starts just being a, a class A. Classic dick? No, not, not a classic one, a class A dick. Oh, class A. That's different. Oh, you lost a lot of life. Yeah. I'm just wow. Being, I'm being just so careful. Nice. That was a good Come one. Come on. Yeah, this is... I didn't even know it was there. Oh, shoot. I, I tried to do a dragon boost when I had, like, a sliver less yeah. than I needed. Oh, is he, I thought this was the part where he was going to be a dick. I guess not. Uh, not yet. Oh. Yeah. Watch, watch this. Well... Well, <laughs> we were foiled by the, <laughs> we were foiled by the slimes. So. Oh, well, at least it's, you start here. Yeah, I start here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Da, da, da. go. Down here, dragon boost here. That's how we play this game. Oh. Uh, yeah, so he gets all dicky and just is like, hey, I was going to turn off the air. Oh, I thought he was going to flood it. No. Oh, that would have been a huge dick move, huh? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, like I gotta, uh, gotta go fast. <laughs> Did you ever watch Sonic X? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, gotta go fast. Air? Is it air? A bubble. Oh, nice. Yeah. See, Mila's the best! <laughs> She's like the best character. You know what? I'm just gonna say, Mila is the best character. I, I still say Gong. Well, you know, they're, they're basically the same character. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> except not at all. Oh, the way to get through this easily is... Uh, to dragon, dragon boost. boost. Yeah, invincibility yeah. frames, man. Gotta... Metal Gear Rising taught me the value of invincibility frames. Yeah. You, uh... Chip tease them and Metal Gear Rising. Yeah. They're the ones who taught me so much about the art of invincibility. Nice. I mean, it's a slower way to get through here because you gotta wait for your boost, but it's just the... You don't want to lose your shield. Right, basically. yeah, yeah. No, you would be kind of screwed if you lost your shield. Oh, yeah. I mean, there are a few more points up ahead where Mila will uh, give you some more, but it's... Uh... There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, hey. so she gives you more, but I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> um, I'm probably gonna lose my shield at this point. No, 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 yeah, no, no. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, maybe I should just go this way. 
Those totally are modeled after the Ed after the Ed 209s. What's a Ed 209? It's a it's a villain from RoboCop. Ah, I see. I still have not watched RoboCop. Um, you know, it's not for everyone. But I'll say that about any movie. I I, I will never say there's a movie that everyone needs to see because people have different ideas of what a good movie is. But it was it was a good movie in my opinion. That was a weird cyclone maneuver. <laughs> that was very odd. <laughs> I know. I was just like, "Will this work?" Oh god. I guess it will. Hey, you're gonna have full life. <laughs> if you don't die. Yeah. Just if I don't. Oh gosh, I'm gonna lose my shield here. I'm gonna <laughs> pause the item. All right. So uh, I think we're close to the next boss, and uh, I am not confident with this boss at all. Oh, and I lost my shield. Are you gonna die? Uh, if I might. Oh nope. Air's back on. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh look. Little chibi. <laughs> oh, extra lives. Yeah. Uh, you get a lot of them. Uh, it's kind of foreboding. <laughs> Alright, well. Oh, hey. Hey, it's my. It's 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 a serpentine. Hey, remember I said his arms were poisoning him and kind of affecting his mind? Right. Uh, yeah. I think that's what's happening right here. Yeah. He, uh. Hmm. Uh, He's a little bit different. <laughs> oh, wow. He got like super giant. Yeah, he also got super hard. He was always a little difficult, admittedly. <laughs> yeah, well, he got. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, hey, remember that one time we had that really awkward episode where I made you talk a yeah, lot? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Um, might uh, have to <laughs> do that again out of necessity, because I'm not a. Uh... You need to focus. Yeah. <laughs> I okay. I, I I can do my best. Well, no, no, just comment on just comment on the fucking snake that's kicking my ass. <laughs> let's, uh, let's start there. Well, he has he seems to have an entire arsenal of weapons, which is ridiculous. He, it's basically all his regular weapons, like powered up. But yeah, yeah, they're like giant forms of his weapons, and he's a giant form of it. Okay, so what's what's below you? Is there like nothing? Nothing. Oh, and I just died. Oh. Then we're okay. I think uh, we've got this. You have to have full. You just have to have full life. I did have full life. <laughs> Oh, okay. But I just, uh, I yeah, man, I, you, I to my, you totally got this. Found my groove, though. <laughs> Tyrone got his groove back. Maybe just stay on, stay, like, around him, and then... Yeah, my biggest mistake when I first fought him, uh, when I was, like, a rook at this game... Was afraid of touching him? No, not even afraid of touching him, just afraid of being near him. Oh, yeah. It's just, uh, with a lot of these bosses towards the end, a lot of what I learned is just that you just gotta try to out-damage them before they out-damage you. That makes sense. Yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, obviously that's what you do for every boss, but <laughs> for this, you just gotta be like, I'm just way more aggressive than I normally would be. I think, I think the idea that the bosses don't hurt you unless they're actually, like, using an attack, or any enemy doesn't hurt you unless they're actually using an attack, uh, is a concept that my brain did not quite wrap around very easily. This took, this boss took me, like, 20 deaths the first time I played. <laughs> and this yeah. time it was only one. No, yeah. Oh, yeah, huh. And, uh, he's dead. This is the end of Serpentine. Oh, so he's not the dude? No, he's not. I kept I kept telling you. <laughs> he wasn't he wasn't the magister. Aww. You insisted so much. Alright, next time on VO booth. Uh <laughs> Dreadnought round three. 